So now I'm going to work on getting database connectivity between my tool rental application uh, that's going to be running on Instruct and the database that's actually residing on Apollo. So if I get into the uh, SQL Manager Server 2008, SQL Server Management Studio, I can log in with my username and password. And we've already configured this in, um, in the lab. Uh, so you have your username and password. Uh, when I look into the databases, I can only see my database. When I get into my tables, I can see a lot of the membership uh, and roles based tables uh, are already in there. And again, we use that um, uh, DOS utility uh, in lab and configured all this so that's all there for you and ready to go. Uh, here's this test table that I used for one of the other videos. I'm going to delete that. Just simply right click it and delete it and it goes away. But I don't want to mess with any of these tables. These are all uh, specific to that role based security. So the first thing I need to do is get my application connected to it. Uh, so I'm going to do some cutting and pasting and I'll explain uh, the different commands here. I'm going to get into web config. And in web config, outside of system web, I'm going to put the connection strings. So if you look, I'm outside of system web but I'm inside of the configuration uh, and so I'm going to add the connection strings. The first connection string as I talked about in the other video, SQL video, is to remove the local SQL server. I don't want it using local SQL server. But I'm next I'm going to tell it if you think that you want to use local SQL server instead do this and the connection string is data source connect to apollo.biz.uiwa.edu The initial catalog is 6K183G0, that's me. Your group will be different. Uh, persist security info true, user ID, and the password. And that is my password. So that's your actual password. Okay, so that's if you think you want to use local SQL Server. Now I need to add a connection string so that I can connect it with my databases. So connection string, I'm going to call this tool rental. CS for connection string tool rental. Same thing, connect to Apollo, initial catalog, persist security, user ID, password, and the last little thing we need here is this provider name. Okay, so once I have all those set up within the connection strings, uh, now it's available to me uh, when I'm adding my SQL data sources. So let's save this web config. Okay. So now when I start to configure role-based security, uh, that role-based security is going to write into uh, all of those tables on the Apollo, on the Apollo web server. So now I'm going to go down here under ASP.NET configuration. And I'll probably have some users and roles from when we were doing the test uh, environment before. So security. I need to, this is using Windows, I need to switch over to forms based, so from the internet. Okay, roles are not enabled, so I'm going to enable roles. As soon as I enable roles, I can see there's already one in there. So I'll just clean that up. And I will go ahead and just clean up the users as well, so I'm back at a known good. And again, those were in there because I'd run it. I'd been using this database for a test uh, earlier. Uh, but right now I'm back. Roles are enabled, but I have zero uh, in both. So I'm going to go ahead and create. I'm going to create a sales. And I'll create an admin. And I need to create users.
like admin and admin. And then I'll make one for Mike Sales. Okay, so right now I've got two users created and each one of those users go into a different role using forms based authentication so things are looking good there. Um, if I look at my web config file now I will see uh, role manager and authentication forms okay so it's added a little bit to the um, web config. Uh, I'm going to grab this little bit. So I'm going to replace this authentication mode forms. Uh, see how this opens and closes all in one tag. I'm going to switch it up a little and I'm going to open it, put something in the middle and then close it. And the thing I'm going to put in the middle is to tell it if you think that we need to log in where are we going to go to log in? So here it's going to be get into the login folder and use login.aspx right there. Okay. And I'll save this. Now I need to create a web config file to actually lock the users, uh, the unauthenticated users out. So I'm going to do a little cutting and pasting again here. Uh, but this would be as simple as going to add a new web config file. Uh, so sales is the other one so I can right click it, add new item. web configuration file. Okay, same thing. I just cut and pasted. If I look in the web config file here for admin, I can see that I'm going to allow the role admin. I'm going to deny the role unauthenticated users and I'm going to deny the role sales. If I get into the sales web config, Uh, I'm going to allow the role sales and admin uh, and I'm going to deny unauthenticated users. Okay, I'm space it out a little just to clean it up. Alright, so now I have this uh, configured. It's using Apollo. Let me go ahead and push it up. Okay, so I've got my changes here. Uh, if I click on sales, uh, it prompts me to log in. Here, it knew we needed to log in, so it went to web config and grabbed um, this piece right here to know how to display this login form. It knows we needs to log in, need to log in, so let me log in here. And I'm able to get into sales. And I'm able to get into admin because I logged in as admin. So let me go back into sales, let me log out. Let me log in as the sales user now. Okay, I'm able to get into sales. If I get into admin, I'm denied, so it wants me to log in as an admin user. So that's the correct behavior. 
okay and log out now notice when I log out it just takes me back here to this login screen um, that's fine if you want to do that I might go ahead and uh, try to redirect it back to the home page so I am going to go here So when that login one control I'm looking for the logged out. Let me just do some copy and paste here real quick. working in master pages the master page okay the code behind in the master page here we go login status one logged out or actually yeah logged out uh, I'm going to response redirect to ASPX. Okay, so now let me save up my changes and we'll test this one more time. So I can log in as Mike Sales. Again, I'm able to get into admin. I'm able. To, uh, I cannot get into admin. I'm able to get into sales when I'm in the sales page and I click log out. Uh, my redirect isn't working, so I'll have to troubleshoot the redirect uh, and see what uh, what the situation is with that. It should be logged out, not logging out. Uh, so let me just grab this. Okay. And I'm going to test it one more time. in as admin I can get into admin I can get into sales and when I log out I'm redirected back to the front page so this is working correctly and I've got the basic login functionality now the one thing that I'm really careful of and that I really want to make sure that I'm taking note of uh, at no time uh, do I ever get a local database so I never get an app data folder with a local SQL database in here if I ever see the local SQL database come uh, I know that I have an error and I need to stop immediately and go back and troubleshoot uh, how that local base got created, database got created. Because if I do all of my con uh, users and all those kinds of things in that local database, um, they're not going to be saved. Uh, there's not gonna be, they're not going to be used by Instruct and Apollo and those. So I need to make sure that I'm doing all of my roles and users uh, and everything like that on Apollo. Uh, so now I've got the basic role-based security. I'm ready to go in and start uh, uh, creating the databases uh, to, to start viewing some data.